The default setting of the Euclidean Distance tool is to generate an output that matches the extent of the input feature. That means that the raster surface will end at the point that is the farthest north, south, east, and west of the input layer, in this case a road. If you wish to go farther, there are some options. This is the default setting, but it is often not what you would want. You want to have the distance to feature out here as well. So if we go to our results tab, also accessible geoprocessing results, open up current session. Here's our last Euclidean distance tool. We can open that up. It wants a new name. It doesn't want to overwrite the last file, so we'll give that a new name. And now we want to go to environments. Processing extent. The extent by default is the same extent as your input feature. You can change that to a number of options manually, or I like to do the same as the display. So however far in you're zoomed in or out, it will match the output raster to this window. So you hit OK, and OK. Turn off the first and turn on the second. You see that we now have a raster layer that matches the extent of my window at the time I executed the function. If I want to go one step farther, I can set a maximum distance around each one of these. So instead of having a rectangular output, I will have an output that is limited by the maximum distance from the input source. I'll again give this a new name so we don't overwrite and I will enter in a maximum distance, in this case 500 meters. This is in the UTM coordinate system, so the units are in meters. 500 meters, close, turn off the old, turn on the new, and now we have the straight line or horizontal distance from each cell location to the input feature road.